Training.com, CWI prep course. Come visit us at our website at train minus sign eng.com, pronounced training. This is our CWI prep course. This is a, as you go through some of these videos, these will be some snippets or samples out of our online training course. If you like what you see here in the sample section, come and visit us and take the course. Unlike a lot of other programs, we've got it set up so that you can do it a la carte. Um, if you only need, to, you know, we've got different parts of the CWI course broken out. So if you don't need to sit through and take safe practices for welding inspectors or you have some strengths that you know of and you want to streamline the process and only hit the sections where you don't really have a strong or strong background or a great deal of proficiency, our program is set up so you can take some of these parts of the CWI online course a la carte. Pick and choose, put together what you want. Leave the rest, like a Chinese food buffet. CWI preparation course, electro slag welding, module three, part 15. Learning objectives. We're gonna to touch base on the basic information about electro slag welding process. Uh, basic welding terminology about this welding process, basic electro slag welding equipment, advantages and disadvantages of electro slag welding. Electro slag welding. The conventional multi pole pass arc welding process becomes progressively uneconomical as the base metal thickness increases over three inches. Electro slag welding overcomes this process. ESW is a metal joining process in which the heat obtained from a molten slag melts a consumable electrode and the surfaces of the base metal being welded. The arc is struck between the energized electrode and a run-on plate with steel wool ball located at the bottom of the joint. The run-on plate, usually made of the same material and thickness as the parent metal, forms a sump which is discarded after welding. A water-cooled copper sump can also be used. The arc is not struck on the copper sump because it would be melted. Instead, small blocks of the base metal are placed on the copper sump for arc initiation purposes. Here you can see the electro slag welding process again. Um, just a general idea of how it works. You've got a layer of slag in there and then you're just feeding wire in. Um, you've got an electrode guide tube that's feeding it into the top of this slag. You've got a molten layer of slag. You've got some molten metal. And this just thing fills up. And as it fills up, the bottom material goes from a liquid form to a solid form. And you just keep going up. Um, this is used to weld really, really thick pieces of material. You're not welding sheet metal with this process or an inch thick material. This is if you need to make a you know 12 inch weld with a really narrow gap so um, a lot of times you'll have a copper mold um, a water cooled copper mold because the copper gets rid of the heat um, and you'll have water running through there and it helps the process move along because you're cooling the material down so but anyways this is electro slag welding okay in this slide you can see the electro slag welding process You've got an electrode guide tube, you've got molten slag, molten metal, and then the coalesced metal, and then the starter or the run-on plate. And then you've got a copper mold or a copper shoe that holds all this stuff together. And it's the, the copper shoes either move or are water-cooled. But, um, yeah, this is the process. And it's very economical for doing, like the previous slide said, anything thicker than three inches. Because if you start doing six or eight inch welds with um, a regular process, you're, it's not very economical because your weld groove gets so wide. You can't do narrow grooves with very thick pieces of metal. So electro slag is one of the better processes for doing thick pieces of metal. As the energized electrode contacts a steel wool, violent arcing occurs. A small quantity of flux is added immediately or even before the arc is struck. 
The violent action of the arc ceases as soon as the flux melts. Then more flux is added to extinguish the arc and the welding commences. The objective is to have steady welding by the time the flux level reaches the bottom of the joint so that a sound weld is obtained in the weldment. The power supply and the welding conditions are deliberately chosen to avoid arc maintenance. Flux is added manually during the welding process to keep the molten flux depth at about one and a half to two inches. Welding should proceed smoothly until completion. Electro slag welding is analogous to continuous casting in a vertical position. Welding head controls and electrode spools are mounted on the carriage. Both the carriage and the copper shoes move vertically upwards as the welding progresses. The welding head may also be oscillated to provide uniform distribution of heat and filler metal. Deposition rates of 35 to 46 pounds per hour per electrode can be achieved. Here you can see the uh, consumable guide tubes and the on the left hand side you can see the power supply and the controls and the wire and you can see how the copper shoes are water cooled and are moving up the side of the weld. On the other side we've got a cutaway version of what it looks like with the water cooled shoes and multiple curved guide tubes going into the uh, electro slag weld pool. I don't even know. What, yeah, it is a weld pool. But. Electro slag welding. The consumable electrode may come in the form of a wire or plate. With metals over 10, 100 millimeters or 4 inches thick, multiple electrodes may be utilized. As the electrodes are melted, the weld pool rises and the water-cooled molding shoes are raised at the proper rate. Speeds of 1 meter per hour or more can be achieved with electro slag welding. The molten slag floating on top of the wel liquid weld metal provides the heat source and the shielding cover. Once the right amount of molten slag has been established, the electro slag welding process is progresses by resistance heating of the conductive slag. Hence, electro slag welding is not an arc welding process. In terms of basic equipment, electro slag welding is similar to electro gas welding. There is no spatter in electro slag welding since no arc exists. Solidification is progressive upward as welding continues. The weld is terminated on a runoff tab so that the solidified slag and weld metal extend beyond the top of the joint. The run-on and run-off tabs are usually cut off the weldment. Electro slag welding applications. Electro slag welding is primarily a joining process for heavy cross sections in the vertical position. Its main advantage lies in high weld productivity and little or no distortion. The most common application areas for electro slag welding are in bulky components of machinery, ships, pressure vessels, castings, and large constructions. Electro slag welding has limited applications in materials joining due to the high heat input generated and its undesirable consequences. So basically electro slag welding is for big stuff. You're not going to do sheet metal with this process. This is big things, ships, machinery, pressure vessels, bridges, really thick huge sections where you 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 need to have a really narrow weld but it's on a thick section. The benefits of the process include its high metal deposition rates. It can lay metal at a rate between 15 and 20 kilograms per hour. This is 35 and 45 pounds per hour per electrode. And its ability to weld thick materials. Many welding processes require more than one pass for welding thick workpieces. But often a single pass is sufficient for electro slag welding. This process is also very efficient since joint preparation and materials handling are minimized while the filler metal utilization is high. The process is also safe and clean with no arc flash and low weld splatter or distortion. Electro slag welding easily lends itself to mechanization, thus reducing the requirement for skilled manual welders. One electrode is commonly used to make welds on materials with a thickness of 25 to 75 millimeters this is one to three inches thick 
and thicker pieces generally require more electrodes. The maximum workpiece thicknesses that have ever been successfully welded was 36 inch piece that required the simultaneous use of six electrodes to complete. So basically it's telling you you can weld some really thick material with this. It's not a good process for pipe or sheet metal or something like that, but if you got a really big thick material, thick section that you need to do in one pass and you can't open it up to, you know, a different type of joint configuration, this is your process, electro slag welding, possibly your process. We touched on basic information about electro slag welding process, basic welding terminology, basic electro slag welding equipment, advantages and disadvantages of electro slag welding. Our CWI CWE online part A video course. $149. It's um, self-study CWI exam. Everything's an online video course. We've got one section where it's questions, questions, and more questions. Um, we've got a whole number of CWI self-study question bank. 40 bucks. Come on in. Take it. Take a look. See. Um, if you just need questions, if you've sat through another course and you just want to keep hitting the material, check out our uh, question bank, 40 bucks.